Hey guys, Anatoly here from Define Agile, where we are talking about Jira tutorials. And today I'm actually going to cover some little bit advanced and a hacky thing. So stay with me. I think it's very, very useful and uh, it's something that Jira does not do well. So we're going to see that. So one of the people in the YouTube asked me a question. If you have a lot of subtasks and you track time on every subtask, how can you see the uh, total of those times in the parent? And let me show you what that means because you might not get it right away. But I think this is a very common use case that at some point you'll have to deal with. So let's say we have this create a login page um, story. And we want to add some subtasks to the story. Subtask number one will be authentication. Subtask number two would be UI. So I have two subtasks. And then let's say we are working on it. So I'm a developer and I'm working on it. So I go to authentication. I do some work and I want to track my work. And you can track it with the time tracking. Again, this is not how we usually do it in uh, Scrum. It's not how we usually do it in my teams because we use story points. We don't really track time. But let's assume you're in a team that tracks time. Every time you do something, you need to track time for this story. Let's say I have a client who needs this time tracking thing and you're exporting this from Jira. So that's what you do. So essentially you go and you log in your time. You say you spent one hour and the remaining, I highly recommend you put remaining as well. So your remaining is 10 hours. And then you save. And then you can go again. For example, and then you say, well, I spent another one hour. So we'll just add it up two hours. Okay. So then let's go to a parent. Let's go to here. And you will see the time tracking here will show you no time locked. Because he did not lock down for this parent. So your parent does not add up um, time tracking for your stories. I think they should. I actually think they should. I think this is maybe something they're missing out there because it makes sense. You have subtasks in your story and you're putting time towards the subtask. Well, the parent should update. I don't understand why they did not do it. So I cannot say anything about it. But I can show you the way how at least you can see the total. Uh, before we do it, let's add some more. So let's go to UI. Let's go and add maybe another hour, and this one is a free hour task. So essentially, we added one hour to this one, two hours to the other one, and as long as three hours, we don't see it anywhere here. If we go to the actual board, we do not see it here either. But with the card layout, there is a way how to do that. So at least you could be able to see it here. This is something I found in the community because I didn't know the answer to it myself. But essentially what you do is you go to a board settings of the board. You select uh, which field names you want to have for active spring and a backlog. So I recommend you do for both probably. Uh, you will have the um, remaining estimate. And then you'll have this E remaining estimate. You can add this, which was, and then you can have your um, time spent. So add this. And let's leave it here because I don't have anything in active spring where you can do the same with an active sprint. So if you go to a backlog now, you'll see that you have your uh, time spent three hours. So this is your both um, subtasks are combined here together. And then your remaining estimate, how much is left, is one day and four hours. So I think originally probably was one day and seven hours, but now since it, uh, we spent three hours remaining is one day and four hours. This is not ideal, but at least this at a glance can show you how much time was spent and how much time is remaining. I'm actually not sure that you can even put it in here. 
So I did not find those fields in here. We can click configure. And for this, you need to be an administrator. So if you cannot get here, you just don't have the correct rights. So see, it doesn't have it here. So it doesn't have the option, unfortunately. So the only way we can do it for now is this way. I hope Jira will change it out or we're, there are a couple tickets that are saying the same thing, that this is not ideal. And I don't know if they're doing anything about it or not, but this is the way it is. And this is a workaround, how you can see um, the sum of all subtasks, time tracking in your pair. Hope it helps. If you have any other questions or maybe you know the other way how to do it, please put them in the comments down below. If you believe I brought you value, please like this page and subscribe to my channel because this brings me exposure and helps to share it to, with more people. I appreciate you and I see you next one. Bye-bye.